Hi, this is a brief demo showing you how to update a Excel worksheet and add your tracking information without using the checkout procedure. You're at the Division of Health Interview Statistics homepage. You go to the document library that you're interested in, which in this case is CSP slash SIPC info. Click the link and the documents that are in that document library will be displayed. The tracking form is the one we are interested in. So you can click the drop down, select edit in browser, click. Your document will open. There's a dummy record there. You simply enter in your record, whatever you want to put in there. I'm tabbing from one field to the other. I see it didn't correct that. Date with the two slashes. I'm going to go back. Oh, that's a time. Since it was in a valid time, it changed it to 12 a.m. Let me go back and put the correct time in there, or a time in there. We'll put, let's say, 06. And another date. These are just dummy dates. And time completed, let's say, 05. Uh oh, PM. Uh, myself, I want it to, to go into the Kai dummy folder. I'll need that created, so I put that there. I select how it was transferred. I'm going to say the taxi method. And let's say no, it was not successful. And no, this did not apply. If you get to the end of the screen and you can't see any more on your screen, just hit the tab key and it will go to the next fields. Okay. And I'm just going to put uh, zero. I did not do a comparison run. And let's say it took um, 10 seconds, tenths of a second. And I didn't need any particular software to accomplish this. And time limit was not a SAS run, so there was no time limit established on a batch job, say for instance. So just put in A. It doesn't have to be caps if you don't want it to be. And that's it. And then you close it. Click on the X to close it. And you've updated. If you wanted to verify that actually your your updates were saved, then you can go and just click on the link to the file. It will open up and it will show you that your record is in there. And then you close it. And you are for all practical purposes, you're finished right now. But let's say you were interested in looking at the versions to see if it recorded that you had made that change. You can click the drop down here. And as you scroll down, see version history. You left click on that and it will give you all the changes and the times that were made. If you use the checkout method instead of the edit and browser method, it gives you the opportunity to make a comment about your version. That's it. You can click on your home page and you're all finished. I hope that's helpful.